Have you seen these pictures before? Here's one, here's another, and here's yet another. You might already know the name, it's called liminal spaces and those are spaces of transition. Spaces you go through, places you don't notice, places you don't really look at, just places that, on, that do not occupy our minds very much. But if you do kind of let your minds be occupied by these, then they are quite weird, honestly. And I've been kind of obsessed with these. And I wanted to try to become a liminal space photographer, which is a kind of a daunting task, because I've tried before to take uh, photos like these, and they weren't quite nice. Uh, liminal spaces are something hard to find, you know? Something you don't just stumble across. Something like very special, very special moment if you're really into liminal spaces then you will be quite happy if you find one in real life. It's a niche, you gotta be aware of that. It's a small niche on the internet, but it still has kind of roots, you would say. First off, there gotta be this nostalgia factor. Just kind of boom in your face. That's, that looks like something your parents took with an old digital camera in your childhood, kind of, and you had it in a photo book. That's just kind of one thing that um, I noticed with a lot of these pictures that they had this nostalgia factor. Another rule is kind of bad picture quality. Just, as I said, old digital, old digital camera or uh, I don't know, old smartphone, just kind of these photos, a little bit blurry, bad resolution and a lot of grain. Let me tell you, grain is the thing for the of photos. It's just something you really need in these photos to kind of make it pop, kind of, you know, give it that little vibe, that old school vibe, because it was the old cameras, I think, that um, when there wasn't much uh, enough light, then it kind of became grainy. And it's kind of something I also noticed with uh, a lot of Limitless Space photos, that they are quite dark, but they don't have to be. They really don't have to be. And I guess the most important thing is that it's a transitional space. As I already said, a place you go through and uh, just kind of don't take much time out of your life to kind of notice it. Uh, it's kind of the art and unremarkable video I did. Uh, kind of similar to that, yeah. But uh, let's say, for example, a hallway. Do you ever just stop in a hallway? And if you do, does it feel weird? It probably does. And that's kind of the whole point. Or a road trip. Like you're driving to vacation and you're staying in a hotel for one night so you can drive farther the next day. And it's kind of this weird feeling. You know you're only gonna be there one day, just one day of your life. And I know it's just kind of special. Also, as I said, old camera. I have something here for that. Take a look at this. This is a Fujifilm digital camera A350. And I just kind of uh, got this for my dad. I tried, as I said, tried taking limited photos before. And I used this camera for that. Uh, the lens is kind of stuck. You have to kind of blow on it and then it still doesn't come out. There we go. And here you just kind of have to zoom in a little bit, zoom out a little bit and then you can take nice photos. Yeah, here is it. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm using this and also as a flash, which is also kind of a rule if you use a flash then, I mean, yeah, it's obvious if you don't flash that it's the case, but if there's light, it's gotta be coming from towards the camera. And it's kind of this light source from your point of view, that's the point where the light has to come from, to give it kind of this unnatural vibe. Because normally when there's a light behind you, you're blocking the light. And it's just kind of something you don't usually see unless it's in a photo. 
that the light is coming directly from at you or if you're wearing maybe kind of these headbands with lights on them, I don't know how they call it in English but that's kind of the same vibe same vibe with that so what are we looking for? Um, yeah, I guess empty molds, hallways, uh, basements maybe if they're not too rancid because that's something I also noticed uh, the liminal spaces are usually in very nice uh, shape there's not too much trash lying around and all that because I guess abandoned buildings and something like that or trash places are not kind of nostalgic um, childhoods are usually kind of kept clean because you kind of um, have your parents protecting you from all these I guess it is a bad influence but yeah so what are we looking for? Uh, abandoned hallways uh, I don't know, hallways, uh, hallways abandoned malls or I don't know empty malls, uh, basements, what else is there? playgrounds at night or just kind of weird corners people usually don't go to um, so yeah, I will be taking my trusty digital camera here. Let's see if it's... Oh, it opened properly. That's where. Alright. And so uh, yeah, I'll be taking this and just kind of going out, taking some photos. I'm gonna take my bike so I can go farther. And uh, yeah, I'll see you outside. Already, we are at the first location right now. It's uh, a small here, and I kind of wanted to try to get into the underground parking garage, which I was in before, and it looked quite liminal. I gotta say that it looked quite weird. It had some weird feelings there, and they wanted to stay longer because it was so interesting. So we're just gonna go to that right now, and um, yeah. So this isn't as bad as I hoped it would be. There are quite some cars, but I think I have a plan. I'm gonna go into one of some doors back there, and then I'm gonna go down the floor and just kind of... Yeah, I wanted to say just kind of... Um, Get to a different floor, but uh, someone came through the door right left from me. But um, now I'm in this stairwell, and this is kind of interesting. This is pretty dope. Can I flip the camera? No, I can't. But this has some limited vibes. Let me take some photos here. actual parking garage and here we have just this beautiful liminal room and I think I'm gonna take some photos here all right my camera is kind of um, the field of view is too small so look at this this is that but with my uh, phone camera I would get the whole picture but with this one no so I'm gonna take some photos with my phone camera and just uh, yeah, just kind of do that in this little room right here. Uh, you know what? I'm starting to think that doing this with my phone will be actually a better idea than doing this with my digital camera because the field of view is just so bad. 
And yeah, I think it depends on the situation. If we need a wide uh, angle, then I'm going to use my phone. And if not, then this little nifty camera right here. Yeah. Guys, this is what I'm talking about. Empty as I just remember it and just beautiful. Beautiful little room here. Not little, but you know what I mean. And this is just, it has nice vibes. It has the vibes. And I think I'm gonna get the digital camera out because this doesn't require a wide angle. So let's just get this here. Zoom a little in. And the battery died. Hopefully I have a replacement batteries, so we're gonna see. All right, new try, new batteries. Let's just get this. And let's go over here. Um, yeah, so now this is all done. I'm gonna go back out and I don't think I want to stay here any longer, uh, especially because of the gases, there are kind of the car gases they build up here and you can't really stay here for very long. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. Creepy. All right, you might not see anything because I don't see anything either. But I see a little bit. But look at this. The lights are off. It's such an ambiance. And I'm gonna take some photos here. Let's zoom out. There we go. And I gotta say, I think it's too dark actually. Let's just wait, it's blurry. Yeah, this just kind of doesn't work. It's way too blurred. I don't know if my lens is dirty, but I'm gonna figure it out. All right, this should work now. So let's do this. Nice, let's do it without a flash. Wait, how do I do it? Yes, that's how. And... No, that's blurry. But I'm gonna take some pictures here. I'm just gonna walk around and I'm gonna, I think, cut them in right now. Alrighty guys, we're in some kind of uh, staircase. Right now stairwell. And it is kinda creepy. So I'm gonna take out my digital camera if I can, yes. And I'm gonna be taking some photos. So let's just do that right now. That's blurry. Yeah. Yeah, so basically that's the spot right here. Yeah, basically this is just um, a parking garage, as you can see here, and it's just a nice little place you can be in. So, yeah, there's the exit, there's another floor I can get to, and I'm gonna take some more photos in this staircase. No peeing allowed. <laughs> Alright, um, second day. 
I uh, it's not actually the second day. Uh, it's like the third or fourth. So I did it. Li I took a little break, but uh, now I'm back and I'm just kind of taking a little walk and seeing if I find any liberal spaces today. And see, I got my digital camera with me again, with some uh, batteries for you know if it runs out again because it runs out pretty quick. But yeah, today is not really a planned day. Yesterday, uh, yeah, not yesterday, but uh, the last day was pretty planned. I did plan to go to the parking garage, and from there I just kind of um, let Jesus take the wheel and just kind of go somewhere. But today it's all uh, all random. It's all just uh, walking around, looking for spaces, and um, yeah, let's do this. All right, I just uh, stood up, but look at this. If this was without all the cars, then it would have an amazing liminal vibe. But sadly, there are some cars here and I can't really do anything about that. But yeah, it's still, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. All right, uh, the weather. It's going crazy right now, it's raining so hot and I kind of retreated into this uh, building housing. Uh, it's like a 19 stor story building, which is pretty dope. And I noticed this little stairwell right here. Yeah, so that's kind of interesting. It's just go up here All right, if somebody came I'm one um, more floor up right now it's still so fucking windy but if somebody was in there I'm not sure I'm gonna look again and I think I'm gonna take some photos in there while I'm at it if the person did go uh, back into the building and not into the stairwell. Then yeah, then I'm gonna take some photos. And yeah. Yeah, I think this is it. I think this is the spot. Because I can kind of edit this number to whatever I want. And I can just kind of do a cool, little scary thing with that. But the wind is going crazy. But uh, yeah. All right. So I'm back at home now and I think I got enough images to kind of upload them. Um, yeah, I got like three uh, specific locations where I took some images that I think I, I was only at three locations, I don't know. But like three sets of images that turned out pretty good. I picked the good ones out, I sorted the bad ones out. And so uh, yeah, I got like three photos on my PC right now with images that I'm probably gonna upload. And so uh, yeah, let's just go over them real quick. So, without further ado, take a look at this. Okay, so I think that was pretty good and I'm gonna sit down and just kind of upload these pictures to Reddit. So yeah, I'm gonna upload them now and then I'm gonna tell you more. Alright. Okay, so we're at my messy ass desk right now. 
and I posted the images. So, I think I went too far up. I posted this one last. And yeah, I posted them on the Liminal Space subreddit, which is... Uh, ooh, I don't know, man. Uh, it's Reddit. It's, it's Reddit, yeah, so it can't be too good. But... Um, now yeah, I have high hopes, not really for this image, but generally I have high hopes that this is gonna turn out pretty well, because I'm pretty proud of these images, I'm not gonna lie, I have some pride in them. And uh, yeah, first one, the 666 one, I think I went too far, I put in the edited tag, because it obviously is edited, but uh, yeah, second image, or second set of images, I just uh, said that I, did, that I decided to check out the emergency exit of the underground parking, which is not a lie. And uh, yeah, I just didn't come up with an original kind of wordplay here. But uh, yeah, those are these images. They are posted on the same subreddit. And the third set of images is the underground parking. Lost Deep Underground is what I said with these images. And uh, yeah, I have the highest hopes for these. And I guess we are gonna see how this turns out tomorrow evening or later, uh, depending on what I kind of do tomorrow because tomorrow is the day before Christmas and we decided to go kind of uh, out to eat with the family. And yeah, so I'm gonna see if I can do it tomorrow, but I will tell you how long uh, it took me to come back to these three little posts right here and tell you how they are doing. All right, see you in a day. All right, um, last day, I posted the images yesterday. They are, uh, I posted them 23 hours ago. And I guess that's enough, because uh, you're gonna see why. And yeah, I guess let's just take a look at these images and just kind of see how they are doing right now. Okay, we're back at my desk. And whoop. First one. The uh, one I took in the high-rise building with the edited image, image and this one surprisingly did the best that uploads. I don't know man, uh, that's not the best, that's not what I imagined, I mean I imagined this with this photo but as I said this one did the best. 100% upload rate which is pretty good but still 10 upvotes. Alright, next one. This one I had high hopes for. 6 upvotes. Yeah. Uh, not the best upvote rate. I mean, yeah. But still, 6 upvotes. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to think about that, but well, last one. This one I had the highest hopes for because just look at it, it's it's amazing I think. But three upvotes. Three upvotes for this image, but still a hundred percent upvote rate. And yeah, I also decided to upload some to the Alpha Oxtrot uh, subreddit because <coughs> he made a video like I do right now first. So I decided to just kind of upload it here too, and well, 14 upvotes, but the post got removed because I forgot to put my thumb in the photo to prove that I took them, which I didn't know we had to do, but it says it in the rules, but I didn't read the rules, so yeah, still 14 upvotes. So yeah, here we are, um, kind of disappointed, but just looking at it, it's still, it's still amazing. I mean, if you think about it, the image with, um, from the high-rise building, 
it had 10 upvotes and I think, if you actually think about it, that's amazing. I mean, imagine like 10 people standing in front of you and just giving you a little compliment like an upvote kind of is. An upvote is just a compliment. And I think that's amazing in itself that 10 people enjoyed what I posted. And for the other ones too, I mean, six people, that's still pretty dope, and three people. I mean, one of them, <laughs> I forgot one of them is me, but still two people. Two people is a good friend group. I mean, you and two other people. It's a nice friend group. Gonna say that. You enjoy your time together. And now this is kind of little secret club. Little secret club of people who enjoy this image right here. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, I think that's amazing. That's just pretty dope. I mean, yeah. I think I'm gonna keep doing this. I think I'm gonna keep doing uh, liminal photos because now I kind of know what to watch out for. And yeah, I think that just... I think that's a nice mission that I can kind of put myself on. So yeah, I guess... Uh, it's pretty amazing that I made 10 people happy and maybe I can make more people happy with this video right here. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping, I hope you enjoy the liminal spaces, the overall video. It took some time editing. I'm pretty new to kind of making videos, so I'm not that good with editing software. But yeah, if you enjoy these uh, liminal spaces, this video, the editing, I don't know, or just the channel in general, then I guess make sure to drop a like and... Maybe even tell me in the comments what you liked, or if you did like it, or if you didn't like it, or what I could improve. That helps out the. That helps out really good. That helps out pretty much. And yeah, if you want to see more of this, make sure to subscribe. And well, with that, I'm gonna keep doing limited videos, and I'm gonna say goodbye, guys. See you in the next one.